So the Barbados prime minister was asked about the climate crisis. They say climate change is a big thing. And of course, when you do different things on the earth, the earth definitely will respond. It always has. Well, you have this reporter that's going to ask the prime minister about her country and why places like Barbados really don't do a whole lot in the area of climate change. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. And what a lot of Western climate diplomats tell me is that Leaders like yourself also carry a responsibility. Why are vulnerable countries still so debt stricken? Why is there still corruption? What is your response to that? You really want me to answer you? I do. Okay. Why is it that every time we talk about countries from the south, the first allegation is corruption? Last time I checked, in the USA and the UK and Europe, they're brittled with corruption, but nobody says that they're not capable of achieving their objectives because of corruption. Why is it that we're not talking about the fact that these countries became independent, having allowed those countries that colonized them to extract significant portions of their wealth, such that we had no proper housing, no proper education, no proper health care systems, no proper legal systems, no proper across the whole street, and certainly nothing to do with building social capital like community development and cultural enterprises. And what has happened is therefore that we have spent the time since independence trying to give our people what the global north has taken for granted and has supported by the extrication of centuries of wealth to give their people out of our blood, sweat and tears. Now when our blood, sweat and tears finances the industrial revolution, and the industrial revolution then causes the climate crisis, and then I have to pay for the consequences of the climate crisis because of the industrial revolution financed by our blood, sweat and tears, then I think they have no moral authority to tell me anything about the financing of the climate or about why we don't have enough. Is it anger over this that fuels your energy? Anger? Absolutely not. Unfairness, lack of justice. They're not angry. I'm just disappointed that humankind still wants to believe that there's one world for a set of people and another world for another set. I like the response from Prime Minister Motley because black people did not contribute to making the climate bad. Them folks did. Them folks benefited off of the industrial revolution. They got all the money, black folks didn't get anything. Only thing black people could do is low skill work. They took resources from Barbados and many other uh, nations in the Caribbean. Look at poor Haiti and all the resources they're still siphoning from Haiti as we speak. They always want to make sure Haiti is destabilized. Haiti can't have one day with them just being at peace. And if they are at so-called peace, it's because their leaders are puppets for the West, in particular, the United States of America. Why is it that nations who came out of colonization, slavery, etc. Why do they got to fix the problems that the Western world created? Why are they always coming down there, wagging their finger about corruption and crime and everything else, act like the Western world is not full of corruption, not full of crime? Why is it that every time we talk about countries from the South, the first allegation is corruption? Last time I checked, in the USA and the UK and Europe, they're brittled with corruption, but nobody says that they're not capable of achieving their objectives because of corruption. Why is it that we're not talking about the fact that these countries became independent, having allowed those countries that colonized them to extract significant portions of their wealth, such that we had no proper housing, no proper education, no proper health care systems, no proper legal systems, no proper across the whole street, and certainly nothing to do with building social capital like community development and cultural enterprises. And what has happened is therefore that we have spent the time since independence trying to give our people what the global north has taken for granted and has supported by the extrication of centuries of wealth to give their people out of our blood, sweat, and tears. It's way more crime going on in the United States than it is in Barbados. 
I'll tell you that. If you had a choice between living in Barbados and a lot of these American cities, you do better living in Barbados to be honest with you. Cause they don't have the issues that this country has or any other Western country. This is to respond to correctly because it is not black folks responsibility to fix their problem. They made the problem. They fix it. This is not slavery where you can just wag your finger at black people and say, Hey, go, go do this for me, boy. Go do this for me, girl. No, them days are gone. And as people making more global alliances and getting together, things are going to change. I'm happy that the African continent is starting to tell them things now. It says, hey, wait a minute, hold on. Y'all not going to be coming down over here and be telling us what we going to do, how we going to do it. No. Shout out to them for that as well. It is a great time to see black people starting to stand up and say something. How dare you go down to Barbados and question them why, what they should be doing. They have to worry about jobs for their people, education, infrastructure, healthcare. They have to make sure their people are good. They're not worried about problems that the Western world creates. They need to worry about the business of Barbados. Just like our nation needs to worry about their, their business. The Western world need to fix their own problems and black people is not here to save them no more. But y'all let me know what y'all think about what our sister had to say here, because like I said, right on to her. And um, yeah, I definitely got to make a, a trip to Barbados because uh, you know, I haven't been yet, but uh, shout out to the brothers and sisters who do watches in Barbados.